Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Additional Intelligence. As usual, this is not popular opinion. This is not what's on the streets, because we're not everybody. This is for true investors only. And today, we'll be talking about how to raise capital for your investment. How to raise capital for investing. You see a good deal, or you're looking that, you know what? I want to also invest. I want to invest in things, in deals that, you know, true investors find attractive. I don't just want to buy the noise. I don't, I don't just want to settle for what everybody's buying. I want to find the great deals, the one in a million deals, right? This is that conversation where we talk about how to raise capital. I believe you've heard the saying that we use money to make money, right? Um, in Yoruba, they say, oh, we're laughing, whoa, whoa. In another, in another, in another way, there's this one that my mom used to say that, Asho Lanworo de Asho. It means, I don't know how to explain it literally, but it just means that it's clothes that you wear to go and shop for more clothes. So it just means that it looks as if there's no way to really make this money you want to make, that I want to make, without having a level of financial capital, without having a level of money, without having some amount of money in your bank account. All right. And one thing I've said before that I would also say again is that there's nothing like starting with zero capital. I think that's a very good place to start. There's nothing like I started with zero capital. There's nothing like I started my business with zero capital. There's absolutely nothing like that. You can start with zero financial capital, which is even debatable because the intelligence you are using to run the business, to start the business, you paid a form of capital to have it. Either you paid with experience or you paid money to learn it. So while it looks as if you might not really start with 10,000, 100,000, 1 million era, the knowledge or the wisdom you applied to find your way around replacing the money you should have spent with any other business strategy that worked for you, you paid to have that wisdom. So technically, you actually started with an amount of money. You actually started with some capital. The mental capital you're starting with, you got it with either financial capital or any other capital um, you know, at all. For example, if I start a business from an insight I got from books, it's either I bought the book or a relationship I had gave me access to the book. And for any relationship to be beneficial, that means there's exchange of value meaning there's something I was paying to the other person that gave me access to get that book for me to now read. Even reading the book, I invested my time as a capital to getting the wisdom from that book to now running the business. So you see that actually there's nothing like I started with zero capital. The only thing you can say is that probably you started with zero financial capital, zero money, right? Which actually should tell you that money is not the only form of capital. Right. Money is not the only form of capital. In fact, I believe you've heard it before that if you, if you have to pay for everything you need, then you are poor. If you have to pay. I've had opportunity to fly private because I know somebody. I've had opportunity. I've gotten certain gifts that I need that I didn't have to pay for because of certain relationships. I've had access to certain places that on a norm I shouldn't have because someone said, let's go together, right? So money is not the only form of capital, right? I've gotten, for example, oh, this might not be a great example, so I'm not going to go into details. I've gotten things that, could, that, I've gotten things that should normally take three months, six months, within 24 hours because I know somebody. Yeah, you might say, you know, that's why there was a day I said that um, the concept of um, I think this is a general, this is a popular thing. The concept of we want a Nigeria where the child of a nobody can become somebody without knowing anybody does not exist. It doesn't. Right? You have to, you, you need people. You need relationships. There's nothing like that. You actually, why do you think on your CV you need referees? Why don't they just, why can't, why cannot, why couldn't your next employer just bank on everything you say? No. They need someone to make to actually say something good about you. They need someone to make reference to their experiences with you. So you can't just say, I, I can figure it out on my own. There are things someone have, some, some, there are things I've heard from people 
that have saved me a lot of money. And there are, there are some amount of money I've spent that I didn't have to if only I'd listened. So money is not the only form of capital. And we're going to get there very soon. Right. So we're going to talk about how to raise capital for investing. I've seen people that you, you have conversation with and they're like, you know what? This deal is nice. This deal is great. I'm interested, but then I can't afford this. I don't have this amount of money. Right. Is there a way around it? Is there a way to, to actually negotiate your way without having to pay that amount of money that you really cannot afford? That's the context of today's conversation. Because the truth is, it takes one deal to change your life. And many of us, we've lost that one deal because of, I can't afford it. And it's personal because I've been there. Yes. I've said it before that at the early stage of starting this firm, starting my firm, um, I had someone probably just two months or three months into it, someone actually offered me 250 million, which obviously I lost because number one, I, I didn't have the structure to receive it. Number two, I didn't even have the understanding or the wisdom to manage it. And I lost that deal. Right? And this is the story of a lot of us also. I've told, I, I, you know, I've shared the story of meeting someone that complained to me about um, having a job, having a skill. And then I said, you know, I'm going to finance you. I'm going to give you a token. Make me a sample. If it's nice, I'm going to finance you further. And the person disappeared. What the person did not know is that you thought you stole 20,000 naira from me. What you didn't know is that you robbed yourself of probably 10 million naira. And someone once told me that the losses that you should be scared of are the ones you were not even aware of. So you, you don't even know that they were yours in the first place. So there's no chance, there's no opportunity for restoration. If you knew that an additional wanted to give me 5 million naira, and you did something to mess it up, and I didn't give you. You know that I wanted to give you. You could come back to come and beg. You can come back to come and beg. You can send someone to plead on your behalf. But if you never knew that I wanted to give you an amount of money, you would just go away like it didn't exist. And you would have to probably do longer years of struggling, of finding your way. Meanwhile, five million naira was waiting for you. Right? So these are, these are the issues, these are things that we need to talk about. Right? Because a lot of times, you know, I said, I've said it before when I gave the example of the red card theory, that actually many of us, the opportunity we are looking for passes in front of our faces every single day. But number one, many of us cannot even recognize it. Number two, many of us say, I can't afford it. Number three, many of us just believe that they are not for us. And we are going to be talking about, we are going to be breaking it, breaking it down today. So that the next time the opportunity you are waiting for crosses your path, you, you bite it. You, you take hold of it. You, you never let it go. Right? Um, and one thing, one thing I, really, I really want you know, us to know is that the best deals are not cheap deals. The best deals, they are not cheap deals. Am I saying they are not cheap deals that would yield profit? Of course not. But I'm saying, you see, those deals that I said, they have the ability to change your life, they are not cheap deals. They are not cheap deals. The best deals are honestly not cheap deals. So which means that you need the level of capital to actually harness the best deals. For example, we are currently in the process of acquiring um, um, a building, and it's costing us over $10 million. That's about... 16, 16 billion naira. But this particular property can yield up to about 40% per annum. In fact, probably over 40% per annum. That is above whatever market offering right now. Right? And if you are going to be, you know, when we talk about replacement cost, if you are going to be building that same property again in 2024, it's going to cost us times two of what, we are, of what we are currently about to acquire it for. That means it's going to cost us about 20 million US dollars to build if you are going to build it in 2024. So you are buying it, and that's why the, the yield is actually that high, because you are buying it way for less than the value in 2024. But it's still not coming cheap. 
right? And that beckons. So how is additional going to raise that capital? I'm, I'm here now trying to share you the insider gist, the inside secrets, so that you also can look at that deal that you've ignored or that you've overlooked, that you think was not for you, and now re revalue it, reevaluate it to say, you know what? How do I raise capital for this? How do I annex this deal? How, I, I'm not going to let this deal go. I'm going to find a way to annex it. Right. Um, Yoruba would say that is the child, a, a child that will eat with the elders, must know how to wash his or her hands. These deals, they are for the big boys. They are for people who have the capital. So if you're also going to get into that space, you must know something that will give you a seat at the table. You must know something. See, let's, let's leave this emotional blackmail of, I, I know this man, he has money to help me, but he will not help me. Come on. I was telling someone recently, I said, okay, it was from a scene in a movie. We were watching, I was watching a movie with someone. Um, I was watching a movie with someone. And someone said in the movie that, um, okay, I was watching a movie with, the, I was watching a movie with someone, um, Suit. Yeah, that's the name of the movie. Suit. And Donna said something to Louise Leet. Um, Donna is the secretary to Louise Leet. And she said, um, Louise, they were in a sort of trouble as a company. They were in a, they were in a sort of trouble as a company. And Donna said to Louise, what can I do for you? And I said, that question is a question that can give you a seat at any table. Instead of always looking for what to get from that person or that group or that community, that circle, a question that can give you a seat at that table is what can I do for you? As I was watching the movie with the person, I, I said the person, I said, this question is very underrated. You meet someone, you, you are looking to get into their space. You meet someone, you are looking to get something. You know this person can change your life. Don't go with, I need, go with, sir. What can I do for you? Now, that now also beckons the question, what do you have to offer the person? Because these people, they probably have so much, so many people around them that can do probably some of the basic things. They need something you can do for them that they can easily get. If you've seen the movie, um, if you've seen the movie, what's the name of this movie? If you've seen the movie Wall Street, when this guy was trying to sell a particular, he was trying to just close a particular big guy, you know, they call them whales, you know, in stock markets, in Wall Street, they call them whales. He was trying to close the big guys. And then he got to finally meet someone he's been trying to close for months. And then when he got there, the guy didn't tell him, okay, tell me a stock you want me to buy. He didn't tell him, okay, what company do you have at hand? Okay, I have this capital, just send me to trade and let me know, let me see what you can do with it. He said, tell me something I don't know. That's what he told him. Because one thing you should understand that these guys, these big guys, this circle are trying to break into, they are, they've seen it all. They are in the market every day. People are offering them deals every single day. At my level, I get offers every single day. I have this property here. Can you let me sell this? Can you, are you interested in this? Imagine people already doing billions of, of, of dollars. What they want to hear is something that they would hear and will make them pause and say, who are you? How do you know this? And that's where what, knowing how to wash your hands gives you access to sit and dine with the elders. And what I want to share with you this afternoon is how showing you how to wash your hands. Number one, deal with this mindset of this deal is not for me. You are scrolling on Instagram and then you see a particular offer. Immediately you see 50 million, you scroll. Immediately you see 100 million, you scroll. Or you, some of you even just is. You know, there was this there was this video I was watching where Fisaya Fosudo said something. He said he just got a new solar installation in his house, and then he saves him electricity, he's portable, he's fine, he's this and this and that. Very sweet video. And then at the end, he said it cost about, is it 7 million or 17 million? Era? I really can't remember right now. I think 17, or is it 70 million? I, I really don't know. I don't think it's 70 million, actually. I think it's either 7 or 17. I can't remember right now. And someone commented that 
everything was nice and sweet until I had 17 million. And he said, M T C H E B E W. That, that means the person is. And I said, why did you conclude that this thing is not for you? I get it. You don't have the 17 million in your bank account. I get it. But does that mean that it's not for you? And this is the attitude that we, we give to deals. And in as much as you keep thinking, you keep waiting to have the, uh, that amount of money in your pocket before you think it's for you. You will never do that deal. Never. You never do the deal. You just need to be, sometimes you just need to be crazy enough. I, I keep, every time, I keep making reference to Trump. That guy is my, is my idol. Maybe not entirely, but forget it. Trump is my idol. His first deal, when he was getting into you know, development proper, was to buy an old hotel. And he was looking for a loan. Looking for a loan means what? He could not afford it. Even after getting the loan, he still knew that the tax is going to be crazy. He asked for 40 years tax relief. I think the first ever to get a 40 years tax relief. That means... If he got that property when I was born, till I am right now, he's still not paying any tax yet. You just need to, you see, you need a fresh perspective. Because like we said, only one deal, you are just one deal away from, from changing your life around. For me, it was just a property deal. For you, it might not even be a property. It might be anything. It might be a business deal. It might be a business transaction. For example, if you probably get on our page right now and you see N50% per annum on ADS and terraces, starting from 3.5 million era. And probably all you have in your account is 2 million era. And what we put there is 3.5 million era outrightly. You probably just look at it and say, ah, outrightly, I don't have 3.5 million outrightly, and you just swipe. Meanwhile, you could just send us a DM to say, can I drop 2 million era now and pay 1.5 million era in two weeks? in four weeks, or in whatever week you have, and at least get our feedback to say no. At least wait for our feedback first. Or you see, you know, we finally, maybe when we finally list our new acquisition, we say minimum investment, $5,000. And you're like, I don't have $5,000 right now. Maybe I have $1,000. Can you ask, what is the duration of this um, financing? Okay, if I drop the $1,000 I have with me now, can I meet up? And you can see that actually, you can actually afford it. So the first step is actually you stop thinking it's not for you and start thinking and even just making inquiries. Just engage, just make inquiries. Get comfortable with this kind of deals. That's where it starts from. Yet Tony Nimelu said that when he first got a job at, in banking, he was not qualified based on the requirements. They were asking for 2 1, he had a 2 2. But he applied anyways, and he got the job. He caused it look. Persistence just works. Persistence just works. I'm not saying you can't afford it, you get on, you make inquiry. I'm not saying you get it at first. And I'm not saying you will not. But you, are, you tried, you could not. Try again. It didn't work, try again. That's how these things work. That's how these things work. Just stop thinking it's not for you. When I got into real estate, I was still looking for properties to buy. I didn't have up to 100,000 in my account. But I knew how to make deals. I knew how to negotiate deals. I knew how to make an offer. And I knew that as I was, as I was going, uh, we'll get there. We'll get there. And this will lead me to the next one. Attract those kind of deals and the financing. You want to, get in, you want to start doing deals in millions, tens of millions, hundreds of millions in billions. There's something called law of, law, the law of attraction. Talk about it. Look like it. Think about it. Show that you know it. I'm telling you. I've seen my, I've seen my perception grow from 10,000 error cost, 5,000 error cost to 100,000 error cost. 
to 500,000 Naira mentorship, to 1 million Naira mentorship, to 100,000 Naira investment, to 1 million Naira investment, to 5 million Naira investment, to 10 million Naira investment, to 50 million Naira investment, to 100 million Naira investment. I've, I've seen myself grow through those ranks. It's not going to happen in a day. But I saw it that until I started to put myself out in the light of that value of the deal, nobody offered me that value of the deal. Nobody. People are not going to offer you what they don't think. See, before people bring any deal close to you, they've seen you do something around that amount. Because you won't even occur to them. You won't even come to their mind if you've never portrayed yourself in the light. See, you might have people in your network who all you just need to do is say, I want to invest in something. It costs 10 million naira. But honestly speaking, I don't have up to 10 million naira. I have just 2 million naira. And I just invite people to just join me. Let's get on this deal together. But once you start talking about those deals on your status, among your friends, whatever it is, you will not know that you actually have people around you who actually have those two, two million naira, and five of you will come together to do the 10 million naira deal. I'm telling you for a fact. I'm telling you for a fact. Attract it by talking about it, by thinking about Because it is when you start thinking about it, when you, like I said in the first one, stop thinking that it's not for you. When you start welcoming it, your salary is 100,000 naira. Can you see yourself doing 10 million naira before this year ends? Ah, uh, come on, what are you talking about? Where will I get it? Already, you've told yourself that it's not for you. So why are you still praying or still hoping that one day by one minute, God will make you a billionaire? Let me tell you one quote that changed my life. If you think about it, it's real. Ah, you didn't get that. If you can think about it, it is real. So the first day I tried to do deals in tens of millions, immediately entered my mind that I could do deals of 60-something million era. I knew it is real. Meaning, it be, and it's, it's scientifically proven that your body cannot differentiate between what you are imagining and what you are seeing. That's why you can be thinking about someone you love and you are literally having goosebumps or you are blushing. Because your body cannot differentiate between whether you are seeing the person or the person is in your head. Meaning that all the things, all the ideas, all the things you need to do for you to actually embark on the journey of doing deals in that value, your body will not suggest it. If you don't allow it set to in your imagination, if immediately you see 100 million naira, you swipe, your body too believes that you don't want it. In fact, your body might think you are allergic to it. So you might discover that one day you just see, you might, you, you might, discover, you might, just, <laughs> you might just discover that every time you see 100 million deal, your, your eyes will just be itching you. Because your body is that without anything 100 million era, you, you, you are allergic to it. It, it, it will harm you. In fact, you know, you, you know the way our, our algorithm works. If you scroll up when I'm on a, you know, Maybe logging into Instagram, the top th the things you'll be seeing, you'll be seeing high profile people. You are seeing luxury cars, you are seeing private jet adverts, you are seeing vacations. Because those are things I engage if I ever go online. Or top coaches, top speakers. You need to attract it by allowing it to settle. You might say it's motivational talks, but okay, okay. Let's agree, it's motivation. Let's, mm, let's agree, it's motivation. Ever since you've not been applying the motivation, no, ever since you've not been applying the motivation, right? Ever since you've not been applying the motivation, what have you achieved? Okay, why not just try to apply the motivation? Abi? I'm not even arguing. Yes, it's motivation. It's aspire to perspire. But ever since you've not been as admitting or uh, applying the aspire to perspiring, what has changed in your life? At least try this one. At least. Because 
See, one thing, this will lead me to the thought thing. One thing with attracting it does for you is that it makes you comfortable with it. That means, for example, I tell people, the first time I did a 10 million era deal, I was not excited. I was not jumping that, yes, yes, I did it. No. Because I've done it years ago in my head. The first I discovered we've done over 100 million era, I, I, I was not saying, wow, 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 wow. I was happy, but I was not, it was not this eureka moment. I've had the eureka moment the day I thought about it. I tell you, I tell you. The first time I ever thought about doing over 500 million, I was still living in, on a bunk in an apartment in the company I used to work for when I wrote 500 million era. And I could remember that midnight. I, I go down from the bunk and I was pacing in the room and I was realizing my speech. So the feeling I was supposed to feel when I made 500 million, I had felt it that day. I went back to sleep smiling because in my mind and to my brain, I've done the 500 million. Even though I was collecting less than 100,000 in a salary. You need to get comfortable with it. Such that, you know, there's a way you even, when you get to a particular place and you want to do deals with them, and the way you are talking, they know that this is your first deal. They can tell. Like I said, what we are talking about is not for the, it's not for, this is not popular opinion, this is not market. So, see, if you, if you think, if you just, if you just want to buy 10,000 era shares of Apple, you just want to own one plot of land and become a landlord, Attention is not for you. We not everybody. Our perspective is different. We are looking for the one of one deals. We are looking for that life changing deals in every deal we are looking for. I tell you, we not everybody. Every deal must be golden. No market noise. Not following the crowd. Does that mean? Is that demonizing every other deal in the market? No. If you interpret it as such, that's your cup of tea. But we, we look for the one of one. That deal will do, and it's deal of the year. Get comfortable with it. And that's why we, we the, the things we put out, is so that anybody that comes to us is already thinking in this light. So when we come together, it's brotherhood, it's family. It's family. It's family. We're not everybody, man. Now, how do you even get this access? You know, I've talked about the whole psychological part. Let's, now, let's, let's be practical. I want to do I want to do deal of 10 million era with you, but I have just 1 million How do I do? Number one, you could get a loan. See, there's good debt. There's bad debt. Good, ba bad debt is when you borrow money to buy things, to pay for things that is not yielding anything back for you. You are borrowing money to buy bags, to buy clothes, to buy shoes that you are not wearing or using to get more money, to get higher job or higher pay. You are borrowing money to buy things to impress people, not to increase your cash flow. That's bad debt. Because that one, when, the time, when it's time to pay back, you don't have. Um, I once told someone who came to me that... He wants to borrow how much again? I think 20,000 era or 25,000 era to. I don't let me go into the details. So I told the person, I said, you know what? Have you eaten? He said, no. So I took the person out. We ate. I said, today is Friday. The next, time I, the next time you are going to see is on Monday. I said, take this amount of money. This will feed you Saturday and Sunday, maybe also tonight, and also Monday morning. You get back to work. Then I told him, I said, this one is for your feeding. Then I told him, I've seen the way you talk about this. I see you are passionate about it. I said, there's a place they sell this and this and this. Take this amount of money. Go and buy this number of units. Right? Bring it to the office on Monday morning. I will, help, I will teach you how to sell it among our colleagues. Then you can start selling this. From this. So I told the person, Take this amount of money, 
go and buy this and this and this and this. This would give you this. You so um, I told the person, go and buy this and this and this and this. Bring it to the office on Monday morning. What I'm not going to do to you for you on Monday morning is that I'm going to get all those things you are buying and I'm going to sell it to our colleagues. I'm going to show you how to sell it to our colleagues. And I can guarantee you that on every 10,000 error you used to acquire this thing, you are making extra five to 6,000 error on it. So it will shock you that you can be making extra 5,000, 6,000 error every single week, depending on how passionate and how diligent you can be. What I want to show you. So that means by month end, you will have last 25,000 that you want to borrow from me. Meanwhile, whatever you want to use that 25,000 that for can wait till month end. I'm telling you, many times we can. By the way, what the amount I gave him was a loan. It was a loan. So don't demonize loan. Don't demonize debt. Don't demonize it. Don't demonize loan. Don't demonize debt. Demonize bad debt. But they are good debt. That's even just one. For example, in our current deal, I'm talking to some financial institutions. Right? How can you finance us and this and this and this? But they know that what we are buying is this and this thing with cash flow. That means we'll pay back. It's guaranteed. That's one. Partnership. Partnership. I have people I share with you. I say, this is what I'm doing next. I want you to come on board. How much can you raise? A million dollars? Two million dollars? Partnership. And like I told you, there are friends you have that can actually do some figures you don't know. One of my friends got a one million dollar loan recently. And the person that gave it to him, he lives with the person and never knew the person could give him a million dollar loan. Until they got into conversation. I say, put yourself out. Let people know what you're capable of. You have what you need around you that you would never get because nobody will come and beg you with money. Anybody offering you money knows that they can get more money out of you. This life is give and take. Stop this pity party. This life is give and take. Our Lord Jesus Christ died so that he can save the whole world. He can reap the whole world. So who are you? Even the Bible says, for the joy set ahead, Jesus endured the cross. That means he didn't endure the cross for nothing. He saw that one day there will be a joy of a sinner coming to Christ. That means he sold to reap you. Uh -uh, stop that. So he's not me on to blackmail. Can't you just give and forget about it? Oh God, if I want to do charity, I will know I'm doing charity. Even my charity, the Bible says, he that gives to the poor, lend it to God. So God will pay me back. By the way, that's by the way. We give out of generosity of our hearts. You're right. I'm not, I'm not discrediting that. Yes, when I give to God, I give out of, I, I love God, that's why I give. But I'm telling you, at some tables, is give and take. That's why I told you. One of the golden statements you can utter to get a study table is, what can I do for you? It is, tell me something I don't know. Partnership. Tell your friends about it. I have this deal. Are you interested? What is something I'm looking at? Why do you think we are allowed about our deals? Oh, we are doing a $10 million deal. It's because I don't have $10 million. But I know there are people watching me every day. There are people seeing our post every day that have this money. I'm saying this so that they can see and say, tell me more about it. And I break down the deal and I say, you know what? I'm doing $500,000. I'm doing $100,000. I'm doing $5,000. I'm doing $10,000. I'm doing $1,000. I'm doing a $1 million. dollars. I'm doing $5 million. Then there are some angel investors. There are people who just have some money. They just, they just want to invest. Like I said, even them. They're not, they're not going to give you money because they like your face. They must see something. There's a man to collect a, um, a, a loan of $250,000 from my dad. And I didn't say, how many of you can do this? You want to get a loan from your dad. And you prepare a presentation. Book an appointment with him. You live in the same house and present to him. That's to show that I'm not, I'm not taking it for granted. I'm actually serious about this thing. Show signs of seriousness. Stop looking for pity. Pity is not a medium of exchange. It is not. Help me is not a medium of exchange. So have mercy on me is not a medium of exchange. No. 
Offer, make offers. Learn the language of making offers. Oh, can you offer me this? I'll offer you this. Can you give me this? I'll give you this. Always find something you can give. Always, always. Always have something you can give. Always. Always find something you can give. Don't be, a, don't be. A, is it parasites or is it a pest that I don't know in biology? That one that I always suck from others. No. See, when you're even a parasite, people are people are uncomfortable around you because they know you're always looking to get. But some people are, people are comfortable around because they know that even if I give you anything, see, I, I, there was a day I, I was in church and then I don't know what happened to my bank. And I said, I just said it that, who has this amount of money? I think about three people. Why? They know that I don't need it. They know. And to them, it's more like, ah, uh, additional, ah, uh, uh, what, what does one use it for? Maybe, if, maybe, maybe someone is even thinking, if I give him that, maybe even pay him back by, with interest. But if they know that this one, it does not have, and even if I give him, there's no hope of collecting it back, they will keep quiet. They are not wicked people. If they want to do charity, they will do. If they don't want to do, you can't owe them to it. It's willingly. It's voluntary. Prove that you are worth my investing. Prove that you are worth partnering. Prove it. Project that you are worth it. Project it. Prove it. And one way to prove it is to build track record with small deals. Build track record. The first time I got into raising capital, I posted my status. Um, I need five people to invest 100,000 naira with me. But that was how I raised my, start my startup capital. But before then, they've seen me do a couple of businesses. And they've seen the way I pushed the businesses. So they know this guy is not lazy. If I give him money, he's going to do business with it. And he's going to make more money. They've seen me do, you know, make some offers, talk about businesses. They know, okay, this guy understands business to a level. He's not just a one novice I don't know. No. And it's not a, and I'm not, I was not offering what I was not talking, what I, was, what I don't know much about. And I was not asking for 10 million era when they've never seen me and do 1 million era. Project it. Even with your friends. They've seen that. Everything you do, you are slow with it. You are sluggish with it. You now say you want to start a business that they know that you are not committed to anything. Maybe in the house, you've contributed money before, put it in your hand, you spent it. Now you're not saying, come and invest in me. And if they don't invest, you now say they are wicked. They don't believe in your dreams. Oh, God, even me, even you, do you believe in your dreams? With the way you are, no, no, no. See, you are living in pressure with people. You are living, someone did something recently. And I was telling a friend of mine that what is paining me is not what this person is doing per se. What is paining me is the impression this person is living in all of us. Because even if we end up growing apart now, by the time in future, maybe next five years, I see you do anything, you are making it hard for me to do business with you in future or even to support you in future because I can't trust you. I can't build track record. When people say, I've had people that, that made inquiries with me and can't invest with me because of my age, I don't blame them. Probably they've seen that ah, this guy is just about two years into this whole investment thing. I don't trust him. They have their right. They have that right to say I'm not doing it. People that can trust me with the little I've done, excuse me, they will. So what does that tell me? I need to build track record to convince people at the level of the deal I want to do to trust me. Pure track record. That little, it's just like the parable of talent. That will lead to one talent. Don't go and bury it. Do business with it. Show people you are serious. In fact, every anytime I post anything humor on my, on my status, people used to ask me, Who is, are you sure the phone is with you? Maybe my life is boring, but at least it's proving to them that this guy is a serious person. This guy, I can trust him with my money. People have done tens of millions with me from TikTok track record. Prepare your house. Look, you too, you want to do 200 million naira. You don't have a lawyer. You don't have anybody handling your finance. See, even if you don't have money to get a lawyer, to employ a lawyer to do something, 
or to have a lawyer on the tenor, or to have a personal lawyer. Keep them as friends. Put them on standby. Check your caliber of, of people you have on, on you know, your network. Are they people that when you need to get access to certain things, are they structure, build structure in people? Build structure. One of the structures I am looking to build right now is people in the force. I have to a level. So that if something happens, at least I know I can call this person in military. Oh, you think I'm part of you saying, I want a Nigeria where a son of nobody can become somebody without anybody. There's no way in the world that that is possible. No way. You need people. You need people. You need, let it sink in. So, and what's this thing? Uh, this is something I, I, I was just saying, um, don't seek the validation of man. You will remain poor. And I don't need anybody to validate me. I, I'm worthy of my own. I, I know my words. Oh God, if people don't know, they, they will not do business with you. They won't. They won't. Even in Christian faith, ex, the Bible says, except by science and wonder, some people will not believe. Come, let's, let's lower this pride. Let's lower it. Hmm? Let's lower it. Prepare your house so that you have the structure. So when people say, okay, let's talk about this deal together. You can bring your lawyer along. But if that lawyer is not your friend, you'll not be looking for how to pay the person. That's, why we are, that's what we are saying. Leave a good impression. So that even if you have a lawyer as a friend, the person can say, ah, you know what, I know you now. You are a good person. I'll follow you. Without paying. It's not everything money. And even if... Now, this, is, this can be a part of you building track record as well as you... Um, you know, just preparing your house. Find a way to be a part of a big deal, even if you have no cobble in it. One of the ways I did that was, um, you know, when I was still working with a firm, every time we are launching a new project or we are talking about any new thing, I put it on my head. In fact, people started thinking I'm the child of, I was the child of the founder. There was this TV show they did also. I was... One of the guests, how I was supposed to be part of the audience. One of the guests did not come. They said, who can do it? I went to the front. I can, I can. They told us to support Bukwara My Mercy. I supported. I was looking for platforms. I was looking for it. And that's why you see, till tomorrow, I referenced Dr. Stephen Akintayo. Reference him. I leveraged his platform. Be a part of a big deal. Be a part of a big deal. You, you are associating yourself with it. So that people will say, what, what have you done? You can say, I was a part of this. See, sometimes you don't have to say, ah, I don't have to explain to you. For example, your friend is into development. You are planning to go into development. Your friend is building a 10 unit. Be a part of it. Sell it with him. Take pictures on site with him. By the time you are going into your own, you can say, oh, um, we recently concluded a 10 unit property with a partnering firm. They don't need to know that you were just a salesperson or this. It was a portfolio. Know how to package yourself. Know how to package yourself. Find a way to be a part of a big deal. You will see that you don't chase capital. You ask for it, and then your, your personality, your expression, now proves that you are worthy of it. So firstly, you make sure you are worthy of it. Then secondly, you ask. You don't beg. All the things I've listed this, this um, today is a way to make you worthy of it. Believe it's for you. Attract it by projecting yourself that you are on this level. Get comfortable with it. Right? Look out for loans. Look out for partnerships. Right? Build track record with the small deals. Prepare your house. Have accountants. Have legal people. Find a way to partner to be on a, a part of a big deal. That's you, pro that's you proving that you are worthy of it. Then what do you now do? Ask for that loan. Ask for that partnership. Ask that angel investor to invest in your venture or to invest in what you want to do. Right? Or to partner with you to invest in something. Ask for it. Make offers. Make offers. You are saying something additional is doing. Right? You want to invest with us? Ask. This is what I have. What do you think? Ask. Ask. Ask for it. Ask for it. And you see that truly, one deal can change your life. And you might just be one action away or one implementation away 
from that one deal that will change your life. Once again, my name is Okwe Addition. I'm the founder of Addition Assets, and this is Additional Intelligence. We're not everybody. Have an amazing week ahead.